It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the ultimate CRT effect in Overwatch. I hope you guys thought the preview looked good and uh, I wanted to elevate the CRT effect I made earlier with my CRT tutorial. I wanted to do a little another version or upgrade of that effect basically. So yeah, I'm excited to show you guys how to make it. And if you guys didn't know, I have a website called editingvisuals.com where we have a lot of editing packs that's going to help you in your editing. So feel free to check that out. Now let's get into the tutorial here. So here I'm in After Effects now. I've added a footage I'm going to be showcasing the effect on. And I'm going to start off by making an adjustment layer and I'm going to do that by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And the first effect we're going to be adding to the adjustment layer here is going to be Mosaic. And we're going to be adding Mosaic to basically drag down the yeah, resolution of the whole footage here we're using. So I usually go around 3 to 400 works great for the uh, horizontal and the vertical blocks here. After that we're going to be adding Motion Tile. And what I'm going to be doing here is basically making the 4x3 format. So I'm going to set the output to 80 here. And this might not be like the resolution accurate rate 4x3, but uh, this is the easy version to create the you know black bars on the sides. So you guys can apply this effect on just a FHD video easy instead of having to pre-compose to 4x3 and you know, do all of those complicated things. We want to keep it simple here, <laughs> simple for you guys, so you guys can, uh, yeah, you know, make make effects as efficient as possible. Uh, after that, I'm going to be adding the key effect to creating the CRT effect, which is going to be the grid effect here. So we're going to be adding grid. You're going to get this grid here, <laughs> and uh, you're going to start off by changing the size from to width and height sliders just like that after that i'm going to be decreasing the width a little bit to six and the height adjust a little bit here i think around 10 to 12 looks good here and i want to have these a little bit stretched pixels so not a square pixel so a little bit stretched i think that looks uh, the best after that i'm going to be inverting the grid so it's going to be looking something like this and after that, you're going to be changing the blending mode to overlay. And you guys can see we get this pixel effect here all over the clip. And this black part here between the uh, pixels and this scenario, we can adjust that by changing the border amount here. So we can, for example, drag it down to three and it's going to be a little bit thinner here but in between the pixels. And I think this looks a little bit better. And if you guys like the CRT effects, CRT aesthetic, I have made a CRT presets pack, which is available on our website, editingvisuals.com. And I'm actually going to be showing you guys some of the presets from that pack, so you guys know what's in the pack, basically. So if you make an adjustment layer here, simple, open up, animation, user presets, CRT presets, you can maybe go to bonus presets here. I have, for example, a matrix crt for example so if i just add this it's going to look something like this super clean crt effect in my opinion and if you guys as i said like this type of crt aesthetic this pack is perfect for you and this is of course not the only effect you guys can add the crt wave for example and this is how that effect is going to look absolutely amazing in my opinion and uh, yeah, I think you guys really, really like this preset pack if you guys are into the CRT aesthetic. Uh, so yeah, feel free to check this pack out. It's available on our website, editingvisual.com. And if you guys want to save a little bit of money on that pack, I have a discount code for you guys. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you guys will save $5 on that pack. Feel free to check out this pack if you guys like the effects. Now let's get back to the ultimate CRT effect. So after you have made the grid effect here, made the set settings for that we're going to be adding cc lens and we're going to be adding this effect to make the curvature of the crt basically so if you guys know the crt tvs they have a little curvatures on the screen so this is this effect is basically going to uh, yeah create that kind of curvature so we're going to start off by increasing the size a little bit 
set it to I would say between 150 and 200 around there. After that, drag down the convergence. I would go to minus 50, something like this. And you guys will get this curvature here. Looks pretty cool. Now we want to make this full screen, so we're going to be adding a transform to this to increase the scale, just like that. Just increase the scale so it fits the composition here. And also, CRT TVs usually have this kind of flickering uh, effect, so I'm going to be recreating that as well. So we're going to be adding brightness here, brightness and contrast. And what you're going to be doing is keyframing the brightness by pressing the clock. Open the preview uh, section here, and you're going to go frame by frame, drag up the brightness a little bit, drag it down, drag it up. After that, open up the adjustment layer, go to brightness and contrast. Here, you're going to be holding Alt and then pressing the clock here. Type loop out, and now when you play it, it's going to be flickering now. So it looks a little bit more realistic in my opinion. And real CRT TVs of course have some sort of glow brightness. So that's what we're going to be adding next, a glow to this. So we're going to be adding glow. I would drag down the threshold here a little bit to 16. Increase the glow radius to around 120. Then drag down the glow intensity to 102 or 3 here. You gotta check a little bit. After that, duplicate the glow by pressing Ctrl D, increase the radius, and then decrease the intensity. Do that one more time, so Ctrl D, radius to 800, something like that. And you can keep the intensity because it's already at 0 0.1, so. Now we have the glow, we're going to be adjusting the contrast a little bit later, so it's not going to be this uh, desaturated with the glow. And the next effect we're going to be adding is going to be motion tile again, actually, so we're going to be adding motion tile and now we're going to be making black bars again on top of these we already have. So we're going to be decreasing the width. 22 works perfectly here. So now you guys get rid of this glow on the outside and also this a little curvature there. So it's going to be a, it's some two straight black bars on the sides. After that, add brightness and contrast again. <laughs> and here increase the contrast to your liking. 75 something like that so this is the result you guys will be getting i think it looks absolutely amazing and yeah i hope you guys really like this crt effect here i'm very satisfied you guys can of course drag on the brightness drag on the glow if you guys think it's too bright you guys can adjust a lot of things here but you guys know the basics on how to create this effect basically now if you guys want to save this as a preset now you guys can go to your adjustment layer Control A, mark all of the effects here. After that, go to animation, save animation preset. And here, when you're in your uh, presets here, name the effect Ultimate CRT Effect, for example. Press save. I'm very satisfied with this effect. And as I said before, if you guys like the CRT aesthetic, CRT effects, feel free to check out the CRT preset pack. It's available on editingvisuals.com. And if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website, Instagram, join our Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.